you look at TSMC's numbers, you see what's happening across the chip space. Is now the time to get in as an investor with the next 12 months in mind? Uh, probably not yet. We remain cautious on the Taiwan and global semiconductor sector. The problem before was a supply side problem, like the COVID lockdown, shipping and supply chain issues. But right now we have a demand side problem because higher interest rate causing lower demand. We have the U.S. government uh, imposing restrictions on China, also inventory corrections. So as a result, we continue to receive negative data points from the press. Uh, for example, we saw profit warning for AMD, also applied materials. We saw Intel now plans to cut hundreds, actually thousands of jobs. We saw IDC recently reported global PC shipments were down more, by more than 20% year on year for 3Q. Uh, of course, you mentioned earlier, I think, uh, about U.S. Uh, government restriction on China semiconductors. So unfortunately, we'll continue to see negative data point for the next several quarters. So I expect to see negative sentiment for the next two to three quarters. So well, to answer your question, probably the better time to get into semiconductor stock is sometime in the first half of next year. I think first half of next year will be the bottom of the semiconductor inventory correction cycle. That might be a better time to get in right now. But unfortunately, at this time, we'll continue to see negative data point for the next several months. So, so that would be your expectation is that from the second half of 23, we are going to see some upswing in terms of a recovery for the space? I think so. The biggest problem is inventory correction. During the conference call yesterday on TSMC, the CEO CC Wei mentioned correctly, which I agree, is that we expect to see the worst inventory correction in the first half of next year. That's because that usually in the 4Q, we have the strong holiday Christmas season with strong tech product demand. But this year, unfortunately, we might see worse than expected demand. That means that going to first half next year, we're going to have more inventory than we need. So we'll probably going through one or two quarters of painful quarters, that might be a good time to start looking into semiconductor stock. So going to second half next year, we should see a better sentiment, assuming the economy remains okay, assuming the interest rate inflation remains okay. I think second half next year, we're going to see a strong rebound. And first half should be the bottom. That might be the time to gradually look into going back to semiconductor stocks.